Okay. Welcome, everyone, to episode two of Listen In, a podcast about podcasts. I am Kelsey, and with me is Andrea. Hey, guys. All right. So episode two, this is going to be um, what about different about different information that you can learn through listening to podcasts. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff that you can listen to on podcasts, and it's more than just two people talking to each other. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Although that is really fun to listen to. We know yes. you guys enjoy it. <laughs> of course. Um, but there's a podcast for everyone. So even if you think that there might not be one, there definitely is. There's educational podcasts, informational podcasts, and there's even podcasts for children. Okay. So what are informational and educational podcasts? Simple enough. Ed- informational podcasts really kind of center around facts and the news. Educational stuff is learning, as you must have guessed. <laughs> and podcasts for children is, you know, centering on informational and educational and entertaining subjects for children. Okay. So informational podcasts uh, are kind of our, your news-based podcasts. Um, and here are just like uh, 13 of the top news podcasts for 2020. Um, and they are kind of differently formatted from each other or from like a, a regular news segment. I know like a lot of people go and watch their morning news, News 12. And, you know, you can sit down and it's like, like kind of like a recurring thing that happens. Like they do their top stories, they do weather, they do traffic and it's like kind of like a revolving thing where breaking news if breaking news comes you know it comes in but it's like news stories of the day um and so there are podcasts that are like that that have news stories of the day um but a lot of these pot uh, that would be like i think pbs news hour is like you know a 30 minute segment where they talk about you know news of the day but then the daily does 15 minute short news bursts I love um, them. Yeah. <laughs> so you can, and that's always good for me because I feel like when I'm eating breakfast, like I want to listen to something or I want to watch something, but I don't yeah. want to have to turn it off in the middle, which is right. so annoying for me because you don't want to have to just stop when you have to leave. So like, it takes me like 15 minutes to eat if I'm taking, if I'm not rushing out the door. So like, you know, having a banana, having cereal, listening to a 15 minute news burst is really great because you get like, here it is, this is today, and you don't have to be like, oh, I never got to hear the end of that news story. Right, or if you feel like you're on, like, your break at work or something, you could do it too. Right, you have, like, a little bit of time to catch up, and then, so, there's another one, I think it's NPR's Up Next, does five-minute news bursts on the hour, so you have just, like, a little tidbit of news. Oh, wow, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so there, I, I really like a lot of these because they don't just have, it's not just like, oh, you're listening to a 30-minute, 60-minute segment, and it's going to be one chunk, and you're going to have to be like, oh, now I have to pause, oh, now I have to leave. You can kind of customize what you're listening to based on what podcast you choose, based on how much time you have, which I think is really great for these informational podcasts. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. Are you good for this side? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just <laughs> that was all I had. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't know. Okay, so there's educational podcasts, which are fun. Um, so you can actually learn a new language. Instead of going on, I, what is it, Rosette, like learning or pronunciator mm-hmm. or mango, you can learn it through a podcast. Um, and I just named a few here, but I'm sure if you typed in a language, you would be able to find it. Um, I think that language learning podcasts are really interesting because I feel like a lot of language learning software is like, here's a sentence, now you repeat it, or here's a sentence, now you correct it, or now you, now you have to type the sentence in the, in the language that you're in your target language. But like for language learning podcasts, you can hear a lot, they do a lot more talking in your target language, which I think is really interesting. Um, and I've always heard that the best way to learn a language is an immersive approach where you're speaking the language with native speakers. So, I mean, and even if it's not necessarily a native speaker that's teaching you, although I would guess that they have to be pretty fluent to be able to do a podcast about language learning right. <laughs> in a different language. 
um, you're kind of getting that aspect, that immersive aspect of hearing people talk more in language than just you know, hear, repeat this kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I think it's great to like use it like in addition to something else. So that way you can see like how words are written and how sentences are formed and then hearing it and practicing it. Mm -hmm. So even on like the plane to Spain or something, I don't know. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So there are educational podcasts as well. So if you like Ted talks, there are Ted talk, um, podcasts, there's TED Talks, TED Talks for Kids as well, Um, Harvard, EdCast, Science Learning, Um, if you're interested in business, money, real estate, you name it, there's so many different types. And so before we were, we did a little like, you know, roundup before we start this, we always talk a little bit before we uh, start recording, but I had said that I was going to mention a podcast in the informational section and then right as I was going to mention it I decided not to <laughs> <laughs> we, we had just had this discussion about whether it was informational or educational and how educational is kind of the broad umbrella to which informational falls under but now that as soon as I had decided that that's what I, I was going to do I changed my mind <laughs> so <laughs> okay. that's why that's why Kelsey said are you done with this slide because she was waiting for me to say something else and I was like Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> but um, I, I guess I, I should mention it here. This is my plan all along, just to disrupt things. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> <laughs> One podcast that I have been listening to recently is called Generation Anthropocene, which is all about um, human beings and their effect on planet Earth, from like our use of plastics to our carbon emissions, um, how we've impacted the earth for better or for worse so I would definitely label that under educational and possibly informational (laughs) depending on how I'm feeling for any given moment so (laughs) (laughs) either way (laughs) all right so there are podcasts for children which I've said probably 10 times already but um, some of them are brains on stories podcast but why, which I thought was really funny. Um, Story Nori, which I also think is funny. Um, Ted Kids and Family, Tumble Science, which I know Tumble is also a uh, website or a database that um, some libraries use as well and some teachers use. And there's also the Big Life Kids podcast, which I think is all about, you know, growing up and different things like that. I... Uh, took a look at, at when I saw this slideshow uh, I took a look, look at brains on and I like how they have it for kids and curious adults yes <laughs> <laughs> some of the things that they have on here are kind of interesting they have like um, a whole section on myths Ooh. and so it's like lost cities and then they have um, making sense of myths which it uh, making sense of myths is the title of the entire series so they have lost cities and then they also have mermaids krakens and loch ness monster and then they also Mm -hmm. have bigfoot unicorns and dragons and i'm just like i appreciate that because if (laughs) if it was if it was a kids only thing and they didn't have that little curious adults thing i'd be like oh can't look at it (laughs) why can't i listen to this i want to listen to this but uh yeah I found that really interesting um they have a whole bunch of things about like just how things work which I was really interested in because you know you can watch tv for your entire life or you know listen to the radio or turn a light switch on and like do you know how electricity gets into your house and why it does what it does and how we control it because I really don't (laughs) right and I don't either (laughs) and I mean it's information that I'm sure anyone could find and could easily understand but how many times a day do you do something and you don't really know how what you're doing works but you do it anyway like you know if you had to start from scratch and you had to completely you know reassemble an electrical grid would you know how to do that would you know where to start or how it works and just like little things like just a a child level explanation can really open up your curiosity to more which I I really liked about brains on they have really good you know bite-sized information kind of thing yeah oh I didn't see this they also have aliens and UFO for (laughs) making oh my god (laughs) (laughs) which if you're a bit a fan of uh you know Roswell New Mexico the new the new alien show on CW oh you know you never know 
you might want to check that out. <laughs> well, wasn't that was also a show before this because this one was a remake. That, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I used to be so jealous because my parents would send me, my mom and my sister would make me go to bed before I came on. So I never had to see what they were watching because it was like, you know, a teens, yeah. teens show or young adult show. And I was always, but I never watched it because they were like, you can't watch it. Do you, have, has it ever happened to anyone like your parents tell you not to do something when you're young? Yep. And so even when you get older and it's perfectly okay for you to do the thing, you never do it. I was like that <laughs> with um, watching Friends, and then really? all of a sudden I was like, "No, I'm just gonna watch it." Like, no, <laughs> I was so upset about. It. Why am I feeling guilty about watching Friends? There are a few TV shows which I was never allowed to watch, which I still haven't watched. So it's like Roswell, um, Charmed. I wasn't allowed to watch. Um, and there, oh, Dawson's Creek. So I and I never I watched them. them. I haven't but, watched them either. And then there were ones that my mom told me um, not to watch when I was younger that no one watched. So like my sister and my mom watched Charmed and Roswell and Dawson's Creek, but no one in my family was allowed to watch The Simpsons. Um, (laughs) (laughs) And this is not a TV show that we weren't allowed to watch, but no one in my house is allowed to touch the thermostat unless you're an adult. And now I'm an adult and I still don't touch the thermostat unless it's like for some reason boiling or freezing cold and even then I feel super guilty like I'm not supposed to be doing that (laughs) so fun fact of the day (laughs) fun fact of the day that really things that you're conditioned to do as a child really hold you in their grip um and that's an educational moment for everyone (laughs) (laughs) okay all right so that is the end of this episode Um, You can come back next Tuesday for episode three, where we dive into uh, the different types of podcasts that we both like to listen to. Speaking of bite-sized podcasts, that was a bite-sized one for us. (laughs) It really was. A little shorter. Um, There's not much to say, I feel like, about educational podcasts, informational podcasts, besides giving you some direction on where to go or the different types. I mean, a lot of things are educational, right? Yeah, it's all about learning, so you know, go into the podcast world and go find one. (laughs) (laughs) And we'll see you next week. See you next time.